Hello everybody and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh's Unpolished Gems, a new series on the channel which will be similar in format to Yu-Gi-Oh Engineering. I hope you'll enjoy it. So, what is this going to be about? Like I mentioned previously, it will be similar in premise to Yu-Gi-Oh Engineering. However, I'll be focusing on a single card instead of an entire engine. It'll be more about tech choices, what you can do, what are their pros, cons, maybe some rulings, strategy tips, and of course, the cost. With this series, I hope to bring light to some forgotten cards that might be an interesting addition to the deck. In most situations, cards introduced in the series will be heavily under the competitive player's radar, so they will have an additional surprise factor. The idea came from my old pal Shinakami. Last year, when he was still known as Tadis yu -Gi -Oh, he made a series called Diamonds in the Rough, which had a similar premise. He decided to exit, so uh, we can say this is a spiritual successor. I hope you'll like this type of content and if you do remember to like, comment and subscribe if you fancy. Anyway, let's go to the topic of today's pilot episode. And here it is, Armageddon Designator. A normal trap first printed as a short print common in Judgment of the Light all the way back in August 2014 and was reprinted in the 2014 Megatons. This card did not see any competitive success whatsoever and the effect is as follows. Banish one card from your hand, neither player can activate cards or the effects of cards with the same name for the rest of the duel. Here are some basic rulings regarding Armageddon Designator. First and foremost, banishing the card is obviously a cost to activate the card, so you need to remember that. Additionally, since there is no attack modification effect nor negation, you cannot activate Armageddon Designator during the damage step. While on the topic of negation, the lack of the word negate makes it so Armageddon Designator doesn't negate, just like MST. When it comes to the usage, Armageddon Designator is a killer in any mirror match, since if you're able to do your plays and then banish either a combo starter or any card important to the deck, it's basically preventing your opponent from playing. Additionally, combining Armageddon Designator with something that can take a card either out of the opponent's hand or deck and add it to your hand, like Exchange or Lullaby of Obedience, can be very effective, especially if you banish an opponent's card that you don't use, crippling them for the remainder of the duel. Now let's talk a bit about the pros of Armageddon Designator. The obvious one is of course the ability to make a card useless for the remainder of the duel. Giving the user an additional disruption in mirror matches is a big plus of this trap. Resolving it by banishing the key card in opponent's strategy can automatically win you the duel. Now for the downside of this card, which there are a few and that's most likely while it didn't see any competitive success. So first and foremost, it's a trap, so making it mechanically slower than something like a quick play spell. Additionally, it works against both players, not only the opponent like Curse Seal the for the burden spell, making it a double-edged sword. Banishing a hand trap will prevent the opponent from using it against you, but they are in the same situation. You can, of course, play targets for it, but that just in cards that do nothing to forward deck strategy. If anything, using cards like Exchange of Lullaby of Obedience is a better choice should this route be taken, but it still makes the play questionable. Additionally, it can be thought as an alternative to cross out designator. Both cards can make a card useless, cover Armageddon this permanently, also making the user go minus two in card advantage in the process. When it comes to buying the card, a single copy of Armageddon designator can be bought for a little over one one dollar on average, making it a very affordable tech choice. That would be it for today. Armageddon Designator haven't seen any competitive play and for a decent reason. There are much better alternatives to this card even in the set it has been released and I still think it's an interesting pick depending on the metagame. And with that I can only say that I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave your opinions in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Jokolo signing out. Peace!